Everybody, this is Charlie from Anthrax, and today I'm hanging out with the one and only DJ Dells. What's good, it's your boy Dells? Wanted to do an episode just covering Jordans, OG Jordans, celebrities wore back in the days, back when they originally released. You see Eddie Vedder wearing Air Jordan infrared sixes. Meanwhile, you have Slash wearing the Royal Air Jordan ones, and then you have Flea. From the Red Hot Chili Peppers wearing the Bread 4s. These are all OGs. Keep in mind, these are when they originally released. They were on tour. They were shooting music videos and wearing these on the road daily. I mean, you can even see the wear. Uh, one group that wore a lot of J's was definitely the Red Hot Chili Peppers. As you see here, you have Anthony wearing the Chicago 1s. You have Flea wearing sixes. You also have Flea wearing the Steel Jordan 10s. Remember that Rock and Jock? Now I'm noticing he's wearing the Rock and Jock jersey, number 69, which is definitely appropriate for Flea. And did you guys see Flea? He was actually in the Obi Wan Kenobi show. Check out Metallica. Even Metallica was wearing damn what Jordans. I never realized Jason Newstead, the bassist, the second bassist to Metallica, rest in peace to Cliff Burton, he loved Jordans. I mean, you see him here, he's wearing the fours, the sixes. You see Lars Ulrich wearing Jordan Chicago ones. Once again, we're seeing another rock star wearing Air Jordan Chicago ones. There's no way we can't mention these guys right here, the legendary thrash metal band Anthrax. I mean, look what you got there. You've got maroon sixes, infrared sixes, some classic Adidas, classic go, man. Anthrax, incredible band. I had the pleasure of actually chopping it up with Charlie from Anthrax and we talked about sneakers. I would love for you guys to actually watch that episode. Um, I'll have a pop-up somewhere on the screen. Uh, but, you know, these guys, especially Dan Spitz, who's wearing the Maroons, was heavy into Jordans. Heavy, heavy into Jordans. And even Charlie, as you see right here, look, Married with Children, you see on set, Married with Children, you have Dan wearing the damn Jordan 6 once again, man. Um, and you see Charlie wearing the classic metallic fives, black metallic fives right there. Keep in mind, these are all the originals from when they first came out. All the originals, man. They were copping them while they were dropping for the first time ever. Married with Children, classic TV show. Is it on your top 10? Let me know in the comments. Matter of fact, what is the best TV show of all times as far as comedies? I would say maybe The Office. That's, that's my favorite. Before we get to the number one rock star metal god, hit the like button and let's do this. Three, two, one. It's got to be Dave Mustaine from Megadeth, one of the founders of Metallica. Look at this guy. You have no idea if you're young... What this guy used to wear on tour, man. You've got the Royals. You've got the Chicago Ones, which, once again, we've seen both of these throughout this actual video. We've seen Slash wearing the Royals. We've seen tons of people wearing the Chicagos, and they're coming back this year. And I know a lot of you are excited. But look, check out what he got there also. He got the Black Infrared 6. Black Infrared 6, that's when... Michael Jordan won his first championship in them damn shoes. And then he's got the infrared six right there. So, you know, he didn't just have one pair of sixes. He had two. He had the home and the away colorway. This guy was a huge Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls fan. I want to show you a quick clip just so you can understand. Let's go. Backstage at the class of the Titans show, the Headbangers Ball continues with Dave and Dave from the band Megadeth. And uh, you've just finished... I saw the show, and it seemed like a really good crowd to me. I mean, what do you think about Madison Square Garden? It's, you know, I, I mean, when you go into it and you think that, you know, wow, this is the big heralded Madison Square Garden, you know, I don't even know which basketball team plays here. That's how important this place is to me. <laughs> you know, it doesn't But matter. do you know now? No, and I don't care. Okay. They, they're not the Bulls. 
<laughs> Clearly a Bulls fan right there. Little shot at the Knicks. I like it. And look, look at this image. Wearing the dunks right there on the right. And then he's got tons of sneakers on the left. Even some damn Converse's. The dude, his sneakers, his sneaker game was no joke. Even look on stage, man, right here. He's got the damn air pressures in the middle photo. You know, this was the Nike pump sneaker. And then he's even wearing Andre Agassi's on the right photo. I mean, come on, bro. There was no one wearing sneakers like Dave Mustaine back in the day. Before there was such a thing as sneaker heads, this guy was a sneaker head. So he has got to be the number one guy when it comes to metal, especially when it comes to wearing kicks on stage, in music videos. The dude had range. Converse to Jordans to the damn Nike Air Pressure Pump sneaker, which at the time was one of the most expensive shoes you could buy as far as footwear uh, let me know if i'm missing someone on this list and please once again share this video leave your comments and i want to end this video with a little bit of a conversation from this 40 minute interview with me and charlie from anthrax because it was so dope and i think you will enjoy it my purpose of this video is to not only give these guys their their flowers while they're still rocking but also to to spread the history so hit the thumbs up and let's go i was a huge jordan fan so i would travel all over the country and i would travel all over the world and then i'd see a pair of jordans i'm like wow when did these come out and they'd be like but that was back when it wasn't so like uh exclusive you know what i mean it's just like yeah. they put, jo they put was, jordans yeah. out this is yeah. when it was around 1987 when uh we did the cover for the i'm the man session we were all adidas man that was it adidas was always popular with us and um adidas started to sponsor us and dude they would send us boxes of stuff boxes of stuff on tour you know um and uh we were pretty much loyal to adidas up until like let's say 90 91 when michael jordan like we couldn't not we couldn't not have a pair of jordans you know what i mean so the adidas thing kind of went away a bit and then we became like nike fanatics and uh so in that picture kind of reflects that time i hope you guys enjoyed this episode check out the full episode with me and charlie must watch and check out the Dells show on YouTube if you love metal. I have tons of interviews with metal artists. Not only metal, but all types of people from all walks of life. That's not sneaker related. Wrestlers even, like, you name it. We got Matt Hardy, all types of legends. So check that out. Hopefully one day I can get Dave Mustaine on this show. I pray to the metal gods that I get Dave Mustaine on the show. Huge fan. I got to finally see them live um, last September, and it was um, life-changing. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments. Hit the thumbs up. What is the most epic sneaker you've seen? And did I miss anyone? Let me know in the comments. Quick one in the boxes. Watch more here at The Sneaker Addict. And maybe we'll go live soon. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Interact with me. I'm reading all them comments. We out.